welcome back to my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe for more videos last time in our last video we were talking about interpretation of structural members in a drawing and as you can remember what we said about the structural members the structural members we meant with the the beams, the columns, the slab, uh, and including the foundations. So this is what we call structural members. So uh, in our last video, we talked about interpretation of a beam. So today we are going to talk about interpretation of a slab in a drawing. If you are given a structural design drawing, and then you are told to interpret interpretation so that you can implement it on site. So as we, we are going to say that uh, as we know the slab, the slab, uh, we have to know that the slab has a minimum, it has a minimum, a minimum cover. It has a minimum, minimum, minimum cover to reinforcement to reinforcement and uh, in reference to in reference to BS8110 yeah B, BS BS8110 either 1997 or another one, as long as it's a BS8110, minimum, reinforce, minimum reinforcement cover to slab shall be 15 millimeter. Minimum reinforcement cover to slab shall be 15 millimeter. This means that the concrete cover, the concrete that covers the reinforcement, for example, that is the concrete. This is the concrete layer, line or layer, and then this is the reinforcement. So it means the distance between the reinforcement and the concrete layer. That's what we call the cover. So this is what we call the cover. And according to BS8110, we have been told that the minimum cover to reinforcement on slab is uh, 15 millimeter. So we are going to go straight to our detailing, our detailed drawing in our laptop. Here we have an example of a slab, a slab detailed. So that's the drawing of that of our slab. So our slab has got grids also. That is according to the drawing, according to the foundation layouts. We have grids. And these grids, the grids are formed to indicate uh, the beams and the columns, the way they are arranged. And that's what we call a grid. So when we, uh, when we interpre interpret uh, our, our detailing on a slab, a slab is normally detailed in panels. And what do we mean by panels? A panel is a slab that has been enclosed between the columns. Like for example, I'm going to show you a panel like on this drawing or on this detailing you see we have a column there this is a column we have another column here we have another column here and then we have another column here so this one is a panel this is a slab panel and uh, as you can remember, uh, the panel, the way beams carry loadings from the panel, like for example this panel, this beam is going to carry a half of the loading from this slab, as well as this beam here, it's also going to carry a half of the loading from this panel, as well as this beam here, is going to carry a half of the loading from this panel. 
also as well as this beam is going to carry a half of the loading from this panel whereby these loadings are carried at an angle of 45 so if i can draw 45 here like this like that so that loading here is being carried by that beam so this one here if i can draw it like this it will form something like a trapezoid at an angle of 45 that load is being carried by this beam as well as here if i can draw 45 up to the center like this like that so that load is being carried by this beam okay anyway we were not talking about the loads but we were talking about the interpretation of reinforcement details on the slab now like for example if we want to interpret the detail of this slab is that we will take one panel like for example this panel here you see on this panel we have got this reinforcement and you can see the way it has been indicated it goes and then it bends and come back also this one here you see it comes it bends it comes back so it means that this reinforcement this is the end of the slab this is the edge of the slab so any reinforcement that reaches at the end or at the edge of the slab it has to be bent and comes back so whereby you'll find that this bending that is coming back it will act as a top as a top reinforcement so in this interpretation of this panel you can see we have uh, we have 24 24 T12 B1 at 200 center to center so this means that in this panel here we are going to have 24 pieces of bar reinforcement 12 millimeter diameter so we are going to have 24 pieces of 12 millimeter diameter reinforcement which is denoted as bottom one so it shall be bottom one reinforcement so bottom one reinforcement this means this is the main uh, main bars reinforcement and these bars reinforcement are placed at a distance of 200 millimeters center to center which means the spacing that is the distance from one bar to the other one is 200 millimeter center to center and bottom one means is the main bars and then this one here also you can see we have got 75 t12 b2 at 200 center to center this means that we are going to have 75 pieces of bar diameter 12 millimeter denoted as bottom two at a spacing of 200 millimeter center to center so bottom two these are the distribution bars so it means that the bars that will run along this uh, distance shall be 75 pieces by diameter 12 millimeter and it shall be bottom two which are the which are the distribution bars at a distance of 200 millimeter center to center and the main bars we have seen there are 24 pieces by diameter 12 these are the main bars bottom one at a spacing of 200 millimeter center to center so when we go back to the cross section when we go back to the section of the of the slab the section of the slab so from this section of the slab from this section of the slab from this section of the slab we can see now the detail here also as well so this this bar here this line here indicates the bar so this bar here is the bottom one bar which is the main bar so this line here is the bottom one bar and you can see since the bottom one bar this is the reinforcement that uh, has a cover this is the reinforcement that has a cover this is the line of concrete this is the line of concrete on our slab so which means this is the concrete 
So we have the distance between the line of concrete, this concrete, and the reinforcement itself. So this space here is what we call the cover. And we have been told that the minimum cover to reinforcement on a slab is 15 millimeter. So this distance from here to here, on site, it has to be a minimum of 15 millimeter. And how do you ensure that on site? You ensure that on site by creating something that we call uh, spacers. We have got small blocks that are made of uh, mortar, out of mortar, that is cement and sand mix. Uh, and uh, they can be from whichever class. So when you make your spacers to ensure that you get a 15 millimeter clear cover between the reinforcement and the concrete, the line of concrete, you will come up with spacers, you will create spacers from a mixture of cement and sand from mortar. And these spacers shall have that thickness of 15 millimeter, such that when you place at the bottom of these bars, you will have, they will create for you a cover of 15 millimeter. So, as you can see, I've, indicated, I've shown to you this, this one here, the last reinforcement here, that is the bottom one bar. Because it, why is it called the bottom one bar? It is called the bottom one bar because it is the first reinforcement that is placed. And then from that we have the bottom two bar. The bottom two bar is this one. You see this uh, indicated as a circle because it's a cross section. It's a section that has been cut through a slab. So you will see this one circular thing. So that is also a reinforcement that is going through that side. So that reinforcement is bottom two. It is denoted as bottom two and that is the distribution bars. Those are the distribution bars on that slab. And then I have told you that when a reinforcement goes and reaches an end, it has to be bent and come back. So as you can see this reinforcement here, which is the main bar, it has come, it has reached the end of the slab, so it has been bent and then come back. So when it comes back on top of it, it forms a top two. So as you can see, the circular one, this, this one shall be denoted as a top one. And then this one, it shall be denoted as a top two. So this one is top one bar, this one shall be a top two bar. So that is how we interpre interpret the reinforcement on the slab. So, as you have seen, as we have said earlier, on our panel, on our panel that we are giving an example, so we have said that you can see we have bottom one bars and we have bottom two bars and we have, we have top two bars. We have top two bars and it is the way that I have indicated on you on the cross section. So this is the reinforcement detail for this panel. So as well as you can go on panel to panel as you interpret the way that I have shown you. And then on this drawing, as you can see, the brown lines, the brown lines indicates how the beams they join each other how the beams they join each other so the brown lines these are the beams and also they create the panels so these brown lines indicate the beams and then these red boxes indicates the columns indicates the columns and then as again you can see we still have our grids shown so we have grid 1, grid 2, grid 3, grid 4, grid 5, 6, 7, up to the last one. So that is how we can interpret the detailing of a slab. And then again, the detailing of the slab, you can see it has an indication of the slab thickness. This is at the cross section. The slab thickness here, it's, it has been shown as 150 millimeter and then you can see that is according to our grid this cross section it is a cross section that has been cut through section x you can see this is x x so
so this is a slab detail indicating the detailing at section x so and as you can see we have got grid we have we have grid one up to the last grid which is which is grid grid uh, grid nine so you can see the distance between the panels so you can see the distance between the panels this one is our grid one this one is our grid one so it's either a wall or a column and then you go to grid two you'll go to grid three you'll grow you'll go to grid four until you reach the end grid eight the way it has been indicated and those distances between those grids is the way they appear on the grid of the slab so again as you come here maybe for example this is a column you see this is a column for example that's a column so this is the reinforcement that are our that are they are in our slab so we'll have the bottom one bars followed by the bottom two bars which are the distribution bars and then when it comes it the section is through uh, the, the section of the slab passes through a column so you see when it comes to a column the fo the, the moments the moments because we will have an action acting upwards so our bending moments on this section shall act like this shall act like that so these reinforcements here also they have been created to counter the moments upwards at this section here so we have the top two and we have the top one bars so that is the interpretation of reinforcement detailing on a slab thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe for more details in our next video we'll be looking at the columns thank you